This is John Paul Rye. I'm coming to you from Tokyo, Japan. Today, I want to talk about a tweet by the real Laura B. And shout out to her, by the way. She's doing a great job in this case. Over 12,000 followers, I think, on Twitter. This is about Johnny Depp's team subpoenaing Samantha Spector, who was a lawyer for Amber Heard when Amber and Johnny got a divorce. There was actually some speculation that it was her that told Amber not to get a police report after the abuse because that's what one of her lawyers told her, allegedly, and she didn't. So, looks like that's evidence that she was told that by a lawyer. Not quite sure if it was Spectre, but it could be. Let's see what we got here. So, here's a tweet from the real Laura B. Update Giant Depp for Samba Heard. Depp team has subpoenaed Samantha Spectre and she has filed for a protective order. Now, let me give a quick recap on who she is. This is from People from quite a while ago. It says Amber Heard and Johnny Depp reached a divorce settlement, but the legal drama between them had one more twist. And we know there were many, 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 many twists to come. Heard's lawyer, Samantha F. Spectre, has retracted a statement she issued after the former couple struck a reported $7 million divorce settlement on Tuesday. So, was that statement about bad information? Bad advice she gave Amber? Well, I'm sure she might have. And I'm sure that might be what they want to question her about. So here's a part of the document that gives us the best explanation. Please take notice that on July 19th at 8.30 a.m. or as soon thereafter as the matter may be heard in Department 19 of the above reference court located at 312 North Spring Street, Los Angeles, California, 90012, non-party Samantha Spector will move for order for protective order regarding plaintiff counsel's deposition of non-party Samantha Spector, notice to occur on February 28, 2022, which is my birthday, by the way, starting at 10.30 a.m., staying the taking of non-party Samantha Spector's deposition until this motion is determined by the court. Okay, so she wants a protective order, and let's see what some speculation about that is. And Kate says, my guess, they believed her lies at first, but then started seeing real problems with her claims. But by that point, they'd thrown their hat into the ring and doubled down on their own PR lies, telling themselves this was just another high-profile divorce case that would soon settle and go away. And that's another good point, is that, you know, at that time, Spectre probably did some things that weren't so ethical, weren't so professional, she wasn't proud of, because she thought the case was going to resolve itself pretty quickly, or Amber was going to get an easy win because of identity politics, believe all women, that kind of thing. But Johnny kept fighting. Johnny wouldn't give up. So, there we have it. Red Like Jungle says, Now we're getting to the foundation of the whole thing, in my honest opinion, was A.H. really advised by Spectre not to speak to LAPD, and did she and her lawyer knowingly file a false TRO application. Spectre does seem to encourage her divorce clients to make DV claims. And if that's true, it sounds like this is just the person that Amber would be working with. It sounds like this is just the right person to subpoena right now to get that important information and to get information that I can't quite imagine, but I'm very curious what they will get from her. Anyway, you guys, of course, let me know what you think down below. This is speculation right now, but it's a really interesting thing when they actually question a lawyer and they see what a lawyer has to say because if they could get a lawyer to admit something that was wrong, then they're doing a good job and they would have no problem with Amber Heard or I.O. Tillett or Rocky Pennington or whoever else, so... Let's see what happens here. If you're not subscribed here, consider it. I'm doing shout outs, special thanks, things like that. Depth vs. Heard. If you don't subscribe, I guess we said, but I'll get over it. See you next time.